Hello, good people, once again. Yes, I know this is not a Garmin screen, but I am showing it for a reason, because I do have a Garmin screen plugged into it. And what's the deal with this little Casio watch that I don't have a strap on right now, but that doesn't matter. Uh, well, I have been running a test, and that right there does not say 8 minutes 12 seconds that says 8 hours 12 minutes and 51 seconds I have had a Garmin Drive 52 plugged into this thing on a full charge for that long and it's only lost one dot out of four so this guy uh, and no, I'm not sponsored by this. I just bought one outright because I wanted to know. I wanted to test this. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour USB power bank. And what we've got on the side here, if I can get through, it's a little dusty, but it's okay. Yeah, we've got the USB A and USB C and. What does that other one say? I don't remember. Hold on, I gotta read this. Oh, one of them is in and one of them is in slash out. That's what that one says. And uh, this guy right here, that is a, a USB 3.0, although you can plug a Garmin into it with the USB 2.0 and it will work. So after eight solid hours, of running this thing this has not even lost half its charge yet it probably hasn't even lost 25% because that's supposed to indicate uh, 25 50 75 100 I think it's only lost maybe 20% maybe less maybe 15% for all I know this may only go down one notch when it loses 5%. I don't know. Point being, point being, is that if you have an older Garmin, or a newer one for that matter, and you cannot plug it into the car for whatever reason, and you need a separate power source, yes, this has proven its worth already. It doesn't take that long to charge it up. So I would, uh, you know, bring it in the house and plug it into the wall. It did come with a wall charger. Plug it into the wall. And then I said, okay, well, it's time to put this to the test. I plugged in a Garmin and just put it in simulator mode and just full screen brightness and let it just do its thing. It's still running. And uh, I believe, <laughs> as insane as this sounds... This might actually make it the more than 24 hours on a single charge with continual use with a Garmin plugged into it. Now, I don't know if it would run that long with, let's just say, uh, a DriveSmart 66 plugged into this thing, which is USB-C, and that uses more power than the USB-A. But if it's for anything from an old school Nuvi 200 all the way up to a DriveSmart 65, which does still use the older style, um, yeah, this thing will power it for a very long time. Probably uh, over 24 hours of continual use. Again, I haven't proven yet, yet because I'm still in just eight hours. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see. It's like, okay, how long until until this thing runs out of runs out of juice? It's gonna take a while. I'm just gonna leave this plugged in and keep it going. But this is brilliant. I, I love it. So uh, I will have this linked uh, with the pinned comment along with this cable. So if you have an older Garmin or even a newer one, even the modern one. Um, 
and you cannot use the car's USB port or if you don't have a USB port or if you only have a 12 volt but the 12 volt doesn't work because it's an older car or something like that you can use this it'll work it'll totally work so wow I, I'm just blown away by I mean, I mean I shouldn't be because this is 10,000 milliamp hour so of course it's better than the stock Garmin battery which is what 800 milliamp hour it's not even a thousand and this is 10,000 so yeah and in theory uh, what it should be able to do although I, I should have tested that and maybe I'll test it later is not only have the Garmin plugged in but also something else so if I wanted to charge my phone and power my Garmin at the same time sure this is a very basic piece of tech it's just a battery but yeah um, excellent excellent just even for this cheap battery and it is cheap you'll see it when you see the price I don't know simple things amaze me so yeah this works <laughs>